part. This is uh, Static Equilibrium of a System Lab. It's number eight. Uh, I misspoke in the video yesterday. I called it number nine. Um, we are just going to investigate this system. We have three masses, one, two, they're of equal mass, and three, which we're going to change and monitor what happens to our angle. You're going to be graphing, drawing some free body diagrams. Equipment are two stands, two pulleys, two identical masses, and a set of masses that we change for the middle. String, protractor, scale. I didn't end up using a scale because the masses have the values on them. The measurements are the masses and the theta. Procedures, we're going to set up just like how I had it in the video, and then we're going to add some masses to the middle. Um, we did two sets of data, so we had our um, two masses up here as 300 grams, and then I um, put some hanging masses here and recorded the theta. The thetas are in the Canvas page, so please check back there. Um, I did a second set with 150 grams on each side, and then some different masses in the middle. The thetas, again, are in your Canvas page. So um, before I started drawing this uh, free body diagram, so our M1 and our M2 free body diagrams are going to be the same because they have the same uh, mass. And we just are going to have this one tension. I guess I could leave off the one because there's just going to be one. So uh, my free body diagram for when I have my hanging mass, my M3. And I have my tension and my tension. This is my theta in here. So this is T. This is also T and Mg. So when I took the measurements, I measured the theta from here. So you know you're not supposed to resolve your vectors on a free body diagram, but just to make this horizontal, this is the angle that we measured. When I sum my forces, right, for these guys are easy, right, it's just uh, T minus Mg is equal to zero, so my tension is equal to Mg here, one or two. And then my sum of forces here, I have two in the horizontal direction. I have, I'm going to be using cosine. So uh, T cosine theta is going to be equal to T cosine theta on this side. Right, since my angles are the same and my tension is the same, right, they just cancel out. So I have one leftward force and one rightward force component. Right, We would subtract them from each other and they would be equal to zero. So this, we're not going to use this in the horizontal. We are uh, mainly going to be looking at our, our sum of forces in the vertical direction. So I have T, I'm looking from the up and down sine theta plus t sine theta, right, this one over here, minus m3g is equal to zero. When I set this up, uh, my upward forces are going to be equal to my downward forces, and since my tensions are the same, and since my tensions are equal to mg, I'm going to say, well, I'll do it, I'll do it in two. 2t sine theta is equal to m3g. Right, I can add these together because they're the same values. And then my tension, right, we identified up here, is going to be equal to m1g sine theta 3g. This mass and this mass are not the same, so you can't cancel them out, but you can cancel out the G. All right, on your 
giraffe. So that's